Hello. Hi. How's it going? Um, in this video, we're going to take that GLFW window, which we created, and basically put some hooks into it, abstract it, so that Vulkan can use it. This is such a common task that GLFW actually has a function for this. We're going to perform this task um, down here under make instance once we've basically created everything. What we'll do is we'll go glfw create window surface. And if we hover over here, we can see that uh, we take instance window. So we'll just, we'll start putting in these things. So we have instance equals our instance that we just created, um, window is our window that we created in the above section, allocator, we'll just use the default memory allocator. Then we have um, a surface that we take in. It seems a little strange because we're trying to create a surface. Now it says here that this is a wrapper for this function here, which returns a Vulkan result. So the more Pythonic way to do things would be to call this function and have the function return the surface which was created. Unfortunately, this is just something we have to work with. So we have to create a basically a pointer to a surface, send that in. It's not very Pythonic at all, but here's what we can do. I'm just gonna call this uh, C style surface. This is just keeping it in line with my C++ video, but essentially this is just a, a regular surface. And we're going to use FFI foreign function interface, create a new. And what we're creating is a Vulkan surface KHR pointer. And that's what we're going to put in. So, um, for the surface argument, we're going to put that in there. Come on. Good. Okay. Now, as I was saying, this is going to return a Vulkan result. So we can actually test the result of this function call. So we can go ahead and call this. If it succeeds, we'll return BK success, and if it doesn't succeed, then we can print some, some info. And why not? If this falls through, then we have succeeded. Okay, so again, this C style surface is a pointer to a Vulkan surface, and we want to store this. It's a pointer, we want to dereference it. it. It only has one element in it, so this is simply just dereferencing the pointer to get the single thing that it has. Okay, so that's all well and good. Uh, we can run this, and it works. However, um, Vulkan's validation throws an error because it says, hey, you have not destroyed any child objects using instance. Uh, all child objects using instance must be destroyed prior to destroying instance. Okay. In other words, down here in the close function, we need to destroy the, um, the surface. So what we want to do is we want to go, um, the function for this is called um, Vulcan get, no, no, sorry, not that one. Destroy surface KHR. However, it's not being recognized. So what did we do up above? We have this Vulcan get instance process address. Now let's control click into there and just up above, quite big. We have device extension functions. 
and instance extension yeah fine instance extension functions so what we'll do is we'll just uh, search for Vulcan destroy okay strangely ah oh, there we are there we are so it's an instance extension function so in order to use this we have to kind of query this and I'll just use exactly the same thing that we have here we we'll even use the same variable so we'll say um, destruction destruction function is we'll search for this one and it will find that function and save it into that destruction variable so then we can just go ahead and call that now oh, and interestingly it um it's pretty clever it can lint for us so we'll say okay instance is self instance surface that we're destroying is self surface the allocator we'll just use uh, the, the default okay and then down below we'll you know destroy the uh, debug messenger all right so we can run this and everything is good, there are no errors. Okay, so we're going to change a few things as well, because now that we have a surface, we can check for um, presenting. So if we go over to um, our device function, Q family indices, that's fine, device properties, yep, yep, yep. Great, choose physical device, that's great. Okay, find Q families. So before we had a graphics family and a present family, and we were simply checking, can we do graphics? And if we can do graphics, we're setting them all, you know, to, uh, to both. So that's all well and good. Now let's start setting these individually so yep if we can support graphics yep set the graphics queue and say yep this is suitable for graphics good if we so we want to check somehow to see whether our um, queue family can support uh, presenting to a surface and this depends on the surface that we're presenting for so I'm going to do the same sort of trick that we did before with loading a, an instance um, procedure. So we'll go, we'll make a function called surface support. And that's what we'll test. And we'll have to kind of load this surface support function in. So we'll go up here. Okay, that's all well and good, but as you can see, we need two more. Oh yeah, by the way, we can set that. We need two more arguments. We need instance and surface. So let's pop this up here. We'll add these instance and surface. And then this may not throw an error straight away, but uh, this find queue families is being called by other functions. So when we click here, we can see these other points where the function is being called. And so is, we need to pass that in there as well. And of course we need to Okay, cool. So um, now when we create our device, good. All right, so there's a bit more to do. So now we have 
a Q family for our graphics, our graphics queue basically, and a Q family for our present queue. Okay, most of the time these will be exactly the same. However, there is the off chance that these might be different to each other. And so what we'll do is when we create the logical device, at this point, we will also um, check, potentially, potentially create two different queues. So um, what we'll do is we'll make a list of unique indices. To start with, we'll go get the graphics family, and then we'll check. Okay, so again, if the graphics family and the present family are the same queue, no worries, there's just one thing there on the list. We just create one queue. If on the other hand, we have um, different ones, then yeah, we append different things and that's fine. Now what we'll say is for queue family index. Okay, good. So we're adding things on and right down the bottom when we create things. Now the Q info count will be the length there. And since this is now a list, we can just pass it in. Excellent. All right. So there's one more thing to do. We've created our uh, logical device, possibly with several queues. What we need to do now, right down the bottom, is actually return those. So we'll call this get queues, okay? And we'll return a list, which will just have both of these. And there we have it. Okay, so unless I've missed something, that should more or less be it. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Ha, ha, ha. How did I miss that? Um, right. So what we'll do is... Ah, of course, instance and surface. All right. Interesting. Okay, so it creates, it pops up, it goes with no errors. That is looking good. So just to step through this, what we did today is we looked at um, how to create a, a Vulkan surface, which is really an abstraction of an existing window. So that Vulkan can talk to our, our system, you know, display things, get keystrokes and everything all good, um, as well as presenting and checking whether a surface can present and getting a present queue so that we can um, present things in future. And that's about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you soon. Bye.